In this next lecture example, we look at the past contributions disallowed. Now, this is where we test whether you understand the order in which to apply it. Now, the past contributions disallowed will be applied in the following order. First against the lump sum, then if there's anything left against an annuity, and if there's anything left against section 11F. Now again guys remember if some of these are not available so let's say there's no lump sums then you'll do it against the annuity and then section 11F. If there's no lump sum or annuity then you just do it against section 11F. So that's just the order in which you apply it. So Mr. P was employed by X Limited for the last 10 years. On the 30th of June he retired from his employer. He earned a salary of 7,500 rands a month. He contributed 8% of his salary to the pension fund. When he retired, the pension fund paid out a lump sum of 200,000. He became entitled to a monthly annuity of 6,000 rands. The past contributions to the fund that were disallowed were 300,000. Right. So, what is the tax for him? So, guys, I'm going to start with the lump sum. So, he received a lump sum of 200,000 rands. Then we say, less contributions disallowed, less any transfers to other funds, right? How much is the contributions were disallowed? 300,000 rands. So we take 200,000 of that and we knock it off against the lump sum. So we say the lump sum has no taxable income. So now, of that 300,000 rands, we have 100,000 rands left. What do we do with that 100,000 rands? We knock it off against any annuity. Now they tell you you receive an annuity of 6,000 rands a month from the 1st of July. Right, so under your normal tax, there's the salary. There's the annuity. See the annuity of 48,000 rands? That 48,000 rands, we take that 100,000 rands that is left and we knock it off against the annuity in terms of section 10C. So now, 48,000 rands, we have another 52,000 rands left. Where was that 52,000 go? To section 11F. So when we do section 11F, Actual contributions, right? See, there's the past contributions. There's that 52,000 rands that's left. Plus in the current year, and then you just complete the calculation as usual. So please, guys, make sure that you see the order in which to apply these past contributions is allowed. Because of the recent changes over the past couple of years, this is an area where there's been a bit of confusion. So be sure to see this is the current recommended approach and you can find that also in section 10c.